most of the math questions found on aptitude tests require a basic command of working with fractions and decimals. You may be required to perform straightforward calculations involving one or both number formats. You may also be required to understand information which is presented in short texts or charts. This unit will not try to teach you all about fractions and decimals, but it will try to establish the correlation between the two and help you convert units presented in one of the formats to another. This is an important aiding technique that helps to quickly solve some of the math problems. Start with fractions. A fraction is the most basic way to display a number or quantity which is not whole. More precisely, a fraction represents the number of existing parts, which is A, of the total number of equal parts that, are com that comprise the whole, that's B. The number above the line A is called the numerator, and the, la and the number below the line B is called the denominator. In the basic form of the, f of the fraction, A and B are natural numbers. This means 1, 2, 3, 10, 100, etc. Here are a few examples of fractions. Half, 3 eighths, 45 over 25, and you can even have complex fractions. A decimal number is a number that uses the decimal point followed by digits that show a value smaller than 1. In the decimal number, the number to the left of the decimal digit is called the whole, and the number to the right of the decimal digit is the fraction. Here are a few examples of decimal digits. 3 and a half, 11.2, and 249.335.